Hopefully you might have seen my previous two videos that I've done on getting more out of pentatonics. I've done part one and two and the idea of these videos is to try and get you thinking maybe that the pentatonics aren't simply uh, one kind of shape but it's actually a whole bunch of uh, shapes uh, that you can join together and actually make kind of musical sounding licks out of them and I think the benefit with pentatonics is you don't necessarily fall so quickly into the trap of like a three note per string phrase where you end up potentially sounding like that kind of thing. So I'm just going to run through some more exercises. If you want the tabs for these, they're on my Patreon. Um, all of these exercises are in uh, D minor for this lesson. Uh, the previous two lessons we were in F sharp minor, I think. It's kind of important to move stuff around into other keys, though, to get the most out of this stuff um, and play it at different tempos and at different speeds. I'm just going to go through each of these exercises slowly. Uh, so this first one is descending in groups of five. Um, now, this is something that Eric Johnson and Joe Bonamassa, I believe, do. Um, Andy Wood has got a lesson which he's just done on this, if you're interested in that sort of thing. Um, but it's something that I use myself because it kind of gives you this rhythmic thing which goes across the beat and sounds quite, quite neat. So here's the lick slowly. <laughs> Pick it how you want. Personally, I try to keep it strict alternate picking, which means you're going to go down, up, down, up, down, up. Um, you can build the speed up and it kind of will start to sound fairly cool, I guess. If you're playing across the beat, it kind of sounds like this. One, two, three, four. You can also do the same thing in the other position. So for example. Uh, or ever, however the end of it ends. Um, so just experiment with that. Yeah, you could play it in groupings of five as in like quintuplets. That's not something I would necessarily do, but could be a thing um, and as I say just figure out how you're gonna pick it you could start everything with down strokes I guess I can't do it but that is something you might want to do um, this next exercise is the same sort of idea but you descend in a group of five and then a group of four so for instance uh, here's it nice and slow quite a tricky one and picking wise you're gonna to have to figure out what you're gonna do um, I'm not sure I can play that one very fast so I need to practice that one so so that's quite difficult um, but it starts to sound a little bit less uh, predictable than maybe just doing fives or just doing fours uh, it's also worth practicing fours, by the way. Uh, so try that as well. Uh, I've not written that down, as that's one of the more obvious things to try, I guess. So this next exercise is mixing up the order, groupings of fives. Uh, kind of a, a little bit of a mixed bag, but it sounds quite cool. Uh, slowly. That's the descending. Ascending. Um, so again that's something to work on to get any sort of speed involved um, but again I think that starts to sound more like a kind of Pat Metheny style thing um, and less like an obvious pentatonic lick um, 
so that's kind of a cool little exercise again do that in all positions and in all um, keys to get the most use out of it um, and then this last one is about kind of moving between positions as well so we're mixing slides into another position so up the speed for this Oops. Um, personally if I'm doing a slide I'm gonna do something different with my picking so that with more of a legato feel um, you could pick it if you want um, so that's another four exercises that's a four there isn't it um, that are worth trying as I say the um, sheets for this will be up on my patreon if you want them um, and please leave comments below about other areas of pentatonics that you might want me to look at or other exercises in general that I think might be useful um, and I'll be happy to do those. If you like this sort of video, if you could like and subscribe. Um, I think we're closing in on 7k subscribers now, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm hoping that this sort of stuff is useful to people, because I do get asked about sort of my approach, and this is the kind of stuff that I do work on still. Um, so hopefully it's useful. Thank you for watching. Cheers.